Hey brothers and sisters, God bless each and every single one of you. Hunter's Point here with another video. It's nice enough, so I'm out here walking again. Finally back in the low 50s, but I figured I would do a vlog. It's been a little bit since I've cranked one of these suckers out, so figured I'd come back on here for a word of encouragement. You know, we're, we're seeing a lot of things happen. I mean, we're in very impressive times, you know, in terms of the times that we live in. You know, I believe in Second Peter, it talks about in the last days how we will see mockers and scoffers. That's what we're seeing. You know, everything that is needed to happen for the rapture to occur has happened. We are witnessing wars and rumors of wars. We're witnessing nations rising against nation, kingdom against kingdom. We're witnessing famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places. We're witnessing the, the, the forerunner. The precursor of Daniel 9:27 with this Trump peace plan, you know, we're we're witnessing the tribulation cast its shadows on the world that we live in today. You know, this coronavirus is getting really bad. I'll be doing an update on that possibly tonight, if not tomorrow. But the amount of cases, confirmed cases of the coronavirus, has just exploded since my last coronavirus update. And again, I I fully believe that the coronavirus is a forerunner of the pale horse detailed in the book of Revelation. But, you know, I just wanted to encourage you all. I know it's hard, right? I know it's hard to weather the proverbial storm and continue to be here. And, but, you know, we have to listen to what the Apostle Paul said in 1 Thessalonians, right? That we need to encourage one another with these words, that the rapture of the church is going to happen. It's going to happen. The dead in Christ will rise first. Those of us who are alive and remain will be caught up together to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord, right? We are witnessing everything that the Bible said we would see as we got closer to Jesus' return. We're witnessing them happen. So what is the moral of the message, right? The moral of the message is to keep your eyes on the sky. Because I know that's what I'm doing. It gets hard, but I have to remind myself, no matter what I go through down here, I got to keep on the path. We got to keep focused. We cannot let the enemy take us away from the path of rejoicement and enjoyment. So keep your eyes on the skies, because that is what I'm doing right now. So again, I will probably be on later tonight for some sort of coronavirus update might push that off to tomorrow but i definitely wanted to get back on here with another vlog i've been doing a lot better now that valentine's day's passed that's always a harder time for me as someone who's been single my whole life it's not exactly the easiest time period but you know i'm i'm excited that that whole debacle has passed and i'm focusing on bible prophecy and you know, there's another verse I'm thinking of. I'm pretty sure it's Romans 125, where it talks about how in the last days people will be worshiping the creation instead of the creator. Boy, is that happening now more than ever. This whole talk of climate change and, you know, man-made global warming and all this nonsense. But just understand we're close, man. We are so close to the rapture of the church. It's unbelievable. So please keep your eyes on the skies. I know it can be difficult. I know it can be weary. But, you know, just rejoice in the fact that the rapture is imminent. But I want to give the gospel before I go. The gospel is how you're saved if you believe it in your heart. It's 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4, which states that Jesus died on the cross for our sins. He was buried and he rose again the third day, according to the scriptures. If you believe that gospel in your heart, you are saved. The Holy Spirit will indwell within you and you will be sealed with it until the day of redemption, which is Ephesians 4.30. The day of redemption refers to the rapture. So um, believe the gospel if you haven't. Time's short. I'll, again, I'll probably be on later tonight. So I guess I will see you all then, should the Lord tarry, of course. But other than that, God bless y'all.